Hi, I'm Lauren from Lauren Michelle Art. Thank you so much for being here. Thank you for watching. Tonight I'm going to be painting using the Lazy Susan that I built in my last video. I want it to look really floral and really happy. I'm going to start on this small canvas since I've never done this style of artwork before. So let's jump right in. Sometimes when the colors drip over the side, colors can fade and look kind of dry. I just want to make it look more hydrated by painting them white, even if the canvas is already white. Or it's going to be an experiment, figuring out the exact consistency that I'm happy with. For this, I might, I might try making them just slightly thicker. Okay, I'm going to use a small amount of this Creative Inspirations gloss medium and varnish. I'm only using paint and water for the Amsterdam brand, but I'm just not sure of the quality of the Soho brand paint. It's really great paint. I use it all the time, but I'm not sure what type of binders it has, so I don't want the binders to break down. And I'm going to make sure not to make my gold too thin. I don't want the gold to overmix with the other colors. I also don't want to create those kind of big bubbly looking cells. I think they're beautiful, but that's just not the look that I'm going for for this painting. I'm going to start with this red. primary magenta I think I'm using too much paint I'm kind of heavy-handed with the paint <laughs> and my vermilion some primary yellow I think I'll go just a little bit more magenta I'm happy with the consistency. If you can see it, the colors are not creating that type of halo around the edge that happens when the paints are thin. That's good, I was worried about that. I'm gonna go gold on top of the magenta. My bars are so long, I'm gonna knock all of this off. <laughs> okay, let's see how this goes. I'm going to blow on low. Some of it moved. I don't think I had enough white on the base, so I'm going to go in right now and add a little bit more. Beautiful cells right in there. I love the soft blend. I really wanted more negative space, so I will keep that in mind. Just looking at it, making an evaluation. I'm not loving this composition. I'm not entirely sure how to fix it. Oh my gosh. I'm covered in paint. I have thumbtacks in the corners so that I can move this canvas all the way to the edge of the bars so I can control which side. So if I wanna take some more paint off of here, I would push this all the way to this edge and spin and it will cause some of this to go off the edge. Hmm, interesting, I have a lot of this a lot of these colors left over. I think I'm going to make another one. Oh, it looks like the gold 
I have broken down a little bit. I'm gonna touch up my edges. Touch up the edges. And just take some of the color and just tap with my finger. Ooh. Okay, I think I'm gonna leave this one alone. I'm gonna try doing another one with the same colors. I love this style, this was so much fun. Okay. Okay, so here it is. This was fun. I am gonna keep playing around with this style. This, this is really beautiful. I love some of the designs in here. I love some of the lacing. There's beautiful cells over here. When it dries, I will show you a close up. I just love this soft blend. This, oop, I just splashed something in it. That's okay. Okay, here it is. The first one I ever did using my Lazy Susan. Okay, I'll take you in for a close up. I think this one's really pretty. It didn't have as much negative space. Well, really it doesn't have too much of any negative space like I planned, but I think this one's really pretty. For my very first time, I'm really happy with these results. Ooh, look at all of that. That's so pretty. Yeah, I'm happy with this one. Okay, there it is. And I will show you the dry results. Okay, here is the finished dried results. Take you in close. I'm really happy with the way that this one turned out. The way that the paint is blended like that almost gives it a three-dimensional look. Oh, there's all those cells. It's really pretty. I'm gonna keep playing around with this technique. I'm gonna definitely try it again. Thank you so much for watching me try out this new style of artwork. I loved it. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye.